K9. If we are talking about K9, we are thinking about a four-legged friend, a dog. But in this case, it's about a 3D printer, the Easy 3D K9. A 3D printer that is made for kids or beginners. But in this video, I'm going to tell you why it is not. Right here on Zachary 3D Prints. Hey, Zach here, and welcome to this video. Yeah, the Easy Treat K9. A 3D printer that I bought on AliExpress for less than 100 euros, and I thought like, hey, is it also going to perform as nice as the X1 that I used to have four years ago? Well, I ordered one uh, last year, February. I did a live stream unboxing, setup, and first print of the K9. Well, before I'm going to talk about my thoughts, ideas, and opinion about this 3D printer, well, let's give some stats about this 3D printer. Well, the print volume is 100 times 100 times 100. It doesn't have a heated bed, and it is printing PLA so far as I know. Maybe you can also print PETG on it, but I didn't test that part. It doesn't have any display, so everything you do, you need to use a laptop or PC and their slicer in order to get models for the printer. Well, <laughs> yeah. When I was look, looking during the live stream to, uh, for some models, I did notice something. I think I also mentioned that, but if you, are, if, if you watched the video of the recap from that live stream, you possibly didn't see it, but they are referring to a uh, website called toy123.com, something like that. It's a special made uh, website for the easy 3D 3D printers. You can download the SEL files and slice it yourself on their slicer, maybe adding this 3D print to a different kind of slicer software. <sighs> I don't recommend doing that. It's too much of a hustle and a lot of things that can go wrong. But if you want, there's an, a video about it, how I do, how I add the easy 3D X1 to this, or maybe also the K9. Anyways, so there are already pre-sliced models, so you can download them as a G-code, put it on the SD card or micro SD card and put it in the printer and then start printing it. You only see how the model looks like on a picture, but you don't see how it is sliced. But the thing was, because I saw pictures, I saw also some models from friends within the 3D printing space that makes those designs. And I see just that they were there. I was looking through the file, I didn't see any attribution or credits to the original designer. I printed uh, some, uh, some models on it, but so far it is... Yeah. I want to say what I think about the printer. The printer itself, without touching, looks nice, simple. Um, yeah, what do you expect from a printer? Simple simplicity and something you can print with. But then, well, during the assembly, um, everything is being clicked, so you need to click it in and then attach it with the supplied screws. But everything felt so cheap, uh, unstable. Um, you can twist it easily. Well, not twist it all around, but you know, you felt that there was some movement. But it's also the thing that you see when operating this printer. For example, if you're going to level the bed of this 3D printer, well, when you are twisting the knobs to level the bed, you feel how flimsy, how wobbly the bed is. It's not stable. The Z-axis, uh, if you hold the Z-axis and you move with the base a little bit, you, you see how much it bends. It's, it's unbearable. It's terrible. It's cheap. If, if, you, if you are pressing uh, on one, one side, you, you see the whole printer rocking around because the connections are not well done. You have to know, a cheap 3D printer is using materials that is going to end up costing you more because you are going to think about, okay, can I solve this? Because a lot of people have this mindset. I want to get some decent prints out of this 3D printer. Let's see if there are some upgrades possible. I I know that Made by Lay has made some, some video about it, how to upgrade this 3D printer. But in the end, I was thinking like, yeah, okay, so different kind of stepper motors, printing some parts because I have more printers so I can easily print something in one piece. But if that is your only 3D printer, the K9, then it is a harder task to do. So you want to avoid something like that. Different kind of bearings, different kind of smooth rods. This is a small PTFA tube, but the bed, it's not a heated bed. You can buy one. I believe it's like 20 euros on AliExpress. If you want to 
change out the stepper motors. I also suggest to change also then the controller board that's in there because that board is locked down and you cannot really upgrade the firmware. There is a possibility that you can do, but if you are screwing up the board, you're toast. So, stepper motor kit, heated beds, some smooth rod stuff like that. We are talking about 60, 70 euros additional cost. So with that amount of money, like the almost 100 euro, and then a few extra here, extra there, you are already talking about 150 to 180 euros for the total price of this 3D printer. Is it worth it? Well, no, it's not. And this is also why you should spend like the 180 euro, maybe adding a little bit more money. If you are looking for this 3D printer as a starter, don't buy this as a starter 3D printer. Or if you have some technical skill and you want to go the extra mile, perfectly fine. You can make excellent uh, upgrades on it. But for a beginner, add with the 100 euro, 80 euro, or maybe 100 euro extra, and you have already 3D printers for that kind of money that are a bliss to start with. Start decently. Don't go for a very cheap because in the end they will toss this 3D printer somewhere in the corner and it will stay there for months, maybe years. And the fun of having a 3D printer and uh, spark creativity, it's gone. I would suggest go and buy something that has a better uh, stability that has a heated bed has a maybe a flexible PEI spring steel sheet on a magnetic bed so that you when you flex it the print comes off uh, a decent size hot end a LCD screen and some firmware or some some slicer software where the model or where this 3d print is already added to so that it is easier and more fun to start your 3d printing adventure for kids and beginners so my advice, don't buy the easy 3D K9 3D printer as a starter. Yeah, I'm not going to give any links because why would I give any links in order to buy this 3D printer if I don't like the printer? It's not recommended. And if you made it this far in this video and you're still watching, you are amazing. Um, I will put some other links in the description of this video. They are no affiliate links, but they are a suggestion which other 3D printer for a price tag between the 170 and 200 USD that are way better and have some positive reviews about those printers. Hey, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And hey, if you like this video, like this video and uh, remember,